Tobin's favourites. <laughs> second finger on D for this particular tune to make that phrase easy so you can either jump past your third your ring finger I should say jump with the middle finger past the ring finger or just use two fingers I'm using the C sharp in the outer row to smooth out could play Need to climb up here. Another way to climb up would be to climb up on the triplet. Now this phrase you have to decide how you're going to. This is kind of awkward because you're playing all these going down one button at a time. Now if you end up playing it like I just did. It's time to <coughs> rework your fingering. Uh, in the real world, you'll find yourself shifting the same finger more than once just because you're unprepared or because you've never played the tune before. But if you find yourself doing it, you should take the tune home and see how could I do this more efficiently. Now, <coughs> the most efficient way perhaps to play this passage would be to, would involve just one shift. From the C sharp on the pull on your first finger, to the A on the push with your third finger. And then after a That seems the most efficient, but I think it's actually depending on on the player obviously, but probably unsafe at high speed. Uh, it's an awkward jump. You're jumping right over your index with your third, with your ring finger. And you've got to be very accurate, very accurate, and it's probably safer to, to move in small increments like this. Or whatever other combination of fingers moved in small shifts that you can work out. That's a nice little ornament you can do there. Add a grace note. This is not a roll, but it might look like one. What we're doing is making the D into a triplet. The rest of the phrase stays in the same rhythm, which it wouldn't do if it were a roll. play that using the F-sharp and the outer row, of course, but I prefer to use the bellows to articulate that passage to get a nice jig feeling about it. <laughs> 